Hello and welcome to this course on Firewall Management 201. I'm Professor Wool and in this lesson we'll discuss how to synchronize object management with a CMDB. So let's uh, take a look at what we have in a typical firewall management system. So we have uh, the firewalls managed by the management system controlling them and in, in these firewalls we have rules, for instance a rule saying we're allowing traffic from our networks to these two IP addresses or these two objects with these names using the DNS server. But this is this picture of the world is what the uh, firewall operation team uh, know and understand. However, there's also another repository of data in the organization, uh, which is uh, an inventory uh, or a CMDB, a, a configuration management database. And in this configuration management database, there are multiple configuration items that have a name and an IP address and other various pieces of information that uh, describe that configuration item. And in that database, you might have a record saying, for instance, that uh, DNS NYC01 has IP address 10.0.0.5. It's a Linux server. It's located in New York City and so on and so forth. And you just happen to notice that this IP address of this uh, DNS server matches the IP address of this server over here in this rule, uh, but the rule uses a different name. So on the firewall management system, the object names are different than the object names inside the CMDB. Just because these two systems are not, they don't communicate, there's nothing synchronizing the naming across these two areas. Now, to make this uh, uh, discrepancy more difficult, think what happens when there is a change request. Somebody needs to uh, make a, a change. For instance, a change request might look like this in blue, saying allow SSH and SNMP from NetManage to DNS NYC01 and then DNS NYC02. Okay, these names, these are the names that the person making the change request is familiar with. These are the names that appear in the CMDB. They're over here. This is the NetManage system. This is where the traffic is supposed to be coming from. Okay, but the people managing the firewall don't necessarily understand these names because they don't appear in the firewall management system. So to honor this change request, somebody has to do a translation. So basically look at the change request and see that the change request refers to a name which is NetManage. Go over to the CMDB, find out what that name is, what IP address it means, and then look in the firewall management system to see if there's an, an object that matches this IP address in here somewhere. This, of course, can be done. It's just slow and uh, uh, error prone. And it would be so much better if we had a network security policy management system coordinating and synchronizing all of this because then this system could observe the object names that are maintained in the firewall management system and could also import the information from the CMDB getting the mapping between these CMDB CI names and their IP addresses and then influence the change request processing so that the names recorded in the change request automatically get uh, populated with the proper definitions and with all of this in place you end up with a firewall rule that would say instead of using names like this you would get an, a firewall rule that would actually use understandable names from netmanage to DNS NYC01 with SSH and SNMP and this would now work because these names will now be part of the firewall management system. They would be created on the firewall management system with matching definitions so that this, what's in the CMDB and in the firewalls is the same. Thank you for your attention.